Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. In today's video, we're going to be doing our makeup horribly wrong just to see if my husband will notice. So, I actually saw Kayla Martinez do this video and hers was really funny. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but yeah, you guys should go check it out. It was really funny. And basically, it's kind of like a little challenge type of thing, but you basically are just gonna do your makeup horrible and just try to get your, either your boyfriend's or your husband's like genuine reaction. So my husband is at work right now. He's gonna be home within like the next two hours or so. And I actually just got home from running a few errands, so I'm not gonna be out in public looking like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and see what he will say. I'm gonna hide the camera somewhere as well. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start. So I'm just gonna start with primer and of course we're just gonna go a little crazy so none of this is gonna have to be perfect or anything like that. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of primer. So I'm just gonna be doing my foundation next. It has to be like bad so I'm only gonna do one pump of foundation. And I'm only gonna like blend this in a little bit like kind of horribly I guess. Just to make it kind of funny and then like okay i don't want to go for like a super noticeable look because i feel like he's gonna quickly like notice some things up with me or like my makeup i guess um so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it like kind of like what i would do but just messy in a way i don't know if that makes sense okay i'm only gonna blend it like that and Watch it actually turns out good, you guys. That'd be awkward. You know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker shade now. So this one is a darker shade. Same foundation though, because I want it to like blend okay too. It's just a little bit dark. It's not too, too dark. It might even be like blended and it might be my color. Because I feel like not every foundation is your color, but there's foundations that even though they're dark, they're still wearable, especially like with concealer and all the contour stuff and everything. So that one's just a little bit dark. You can't even tell, I feel like, okay. I'm telling you guys, it's probably gonna end up looking kind of good. Okay, don't mind my eyebrows, by the way. I have not done my eyebrows. Okay, I look kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, there, I hope you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright, so let's still set our face and I'm using the Maybelline Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. Okay. By the way, you guys, David is in the background. He just came in right now and he wants to be in the video. <laughs> let's see, let me put you up higher. He was eating a cookie while I'm filming. Okay guys, so for contour, I'm actually gonna be using this shade right here in the James Charles palette. If you're wondering, that is 10% off. That's the name of it. And I feel like people actually use that shade for their contour sometimes. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do it really dark right here. <laughs> just because this for sure, like he's gonna have to notice. Maybe not the foundation, I feel like it's not as bad. Oh my goodness, this looks really orange. That's okay. And it doesn't matter if it's not like completely blended because that's the point of this video is to look kind of bad. So we're gonna add a little bit more on this side. Okay, so there's some to my forehead. I normally add some there anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna take my foundation brush and then just kind of go over this a little bit so it doesn't look that bad because it already looks really bad and by the way spongebob is playing in the background you guys if you guys hear spongebob that's what that is we're gonna do our blush and of course we're also gonna do it super bright so i'm actually gonna be using the regular uh, blush color that i use but i'm gonna be tapping into this shade right here which is like a coral color but sort of dark to be a blush and that is the shade rusted okay so i'm adding my normal blush with rusted 
and I'm just gonna put it like right where my blush normally goes so like I said I still want to do it somewhat you know like what I normally do but then make it just a little bit crazy so that's that one side oh my goodness I cannot imagine actually wearing that blush you guys I wonder how he will react by the way because I feel like he's usually nice like even if when I know my makeup doesn't look that great like he won't even say anything unless I ask him like how do you think my makeup looks babe and sometimes he's told me it just looks a little bit too dark or like he'll say it just looks okay by the way I'm doing highlight so I'm adding this color for my highlight and this one which will make it really really bright because obviously I want it to like looks really bright and a little bit crazy so that's the color ring light but i was saying that leo normally will not say if my makeup looks really bad unless i ask him like i'll say how does my makeup look and if he knows it looks bad he'll say like it just looks too much or something like that so let's see what he says today hopefully he'll say that so that's my face for you guys all right so i'm gonna do my eyebrows next real quick and I'm just gonna make them thick, like thicker than usual. I know that I saw Kayla do this and they didn't look that bad, but I mean, you know, on a normal day to day, you wouldn't wear them that thick. So we're just gonna make ours really thick like that too. And for sure the eyebrows he'll notice, for sure, because he always tells me that he likes my eyebrows or that they look too thin or that they look too thick. So he's pretty honest about my eyebrows. Okay. I'm just gonna overline and then make them a little bit long like that. But like I said, I'm still gonna keep it like pretty real to what I would do. Cause I don't want it to just be like, like super crazy. Like if I just purposely made a mess on my face, you know, I want to put everything in the correct spot, but just overdo it. So. Let's see, this is how it's gonna look. I'm just gonna fill them in. In a way, I kinda like thick brows, but I don't know on me. Like, I actually had went through like a phase where my eyebrows were really thick. I was already on YouTube, by the way. And I feel like people didn't really notice and didn't really say anything until one video went viral, or not viral actually until one video got a bunch of views and then the comments people started to say that they were really thick so they were right okay so i'm just gonna do this eyebrow real quick all right you guys what the heck look at those eyebrows look at this one especially i feel like it got really thick but like i said i feel like at one point my eyebrows did actually look like this i'm kind of embarrassed but yeah <laughs> these will be our eyebrows for today okay so we're gonna do um eyeshadow and i don't want to go too crazy because obviously the rest of my face already looks bad so i'm just gonna do like a natural eye look but just kind of overdo it like not blend it so we're actually not going to start with like the lightest color we're going to start with like the darkest brown and we're just going to attempt to do our eyeshadow so oh my goodness this is already so bad Okay, didn't I say I was gonna go natural? What happened? I think that whenever you start with like a really dark color, there's like no going back from there, so. That's what's happening right now. All right, so now we're going to a lighter color. And I'm actually just using like the middle row from the James Charles palette. But apparently it got really bad really fast. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Man, I don't like it. I feel like I went overboard. With another brush, I'm just gonna blend that all out a little bit, because I don't want it to look that crazy either. And now we're just gonna do like a cut crease. That way he like sees a little bit of, or that way it's not too noticeable, because if I just leave it like this, he's definitely gonna see what is happening. Like your makeup is horrible or something. Like right off the bat, you can tell I'm not trying. Like this is really bad. So I'm just gonna cut my crease real quick. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye real quick. Okay, and then for the color in the middle, I'm just gonna do, should I do like a green or something? No, I can't. Okay, I'll just do like a matte. I'm just gonna do a matte like nude color. I'm gonna do the color canvas. 
which is like the first shade in the palette of the James Charles palette. So it's just like a matte nude. Like I said, I don't want it to look too crazy, even though it already does. But I don't want my eyeshadow to be like the main thing that he sees. And I am just gonna blend these two here, like the cut crease with the rest of the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner real quick and I'm not gonna make it like really messy. I'm gonna try not to. I'm just gonna make it like really long and like a thick, thick wing. So, let's go. Okay guys, so there is my wing liner. And it's just a huge wing. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to match that on the other side. I'll be right back. All right guys, there are my two wings. All I have to do is put on some lashes real quick. And nothing crazy about the eyelashes. I'm just gonna put them on. They're like pretty dramatic eyelashes. This is what they look like. Okay guys, so this is how my makeup looks with the eyelashes now. And honestly, I feel like it's not looking as crazy as I would have wanted it to. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more contour so instead of using the same shade which is 10% off I'm using a shade a little bit darker which is called no beans and I'm just going to go ahead and add that okay now we're talking right here and just like blend it upward like that so like I said it'll still be oh my goodness it looks like purple what is happening It'll be really dark and noticeable. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. This is super noticeable. My eyes, not so much though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add the same color to my eyes to make them look a little bit crazy. I'm just gonna add, okay, they don't look that crazy. I'm just gonna add it like right here to the top so it's like super dark. And then it'll catch his eye right away, I hope. Okay, so I completely forgot to contour my nose, so with whatever is left right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go on the bridge of my nose just to make it really dark right here. And obviously, like, darker than it should be. Okay, so that looks super dark. I'm gonna add some to here because this is adding, like, a really cool effect. It's just making everything, like, look sunken. Which I feel like I look like a deer or something. Okay, like that. That's fine. <laughs> okay, this is really bad, you guys. So now we're gonna do our lipstick, and I'm just gonna overline, like, huge overline, and that way it'll be, like, pretty noticeable. I'm also gonna use, like, a shade that is a nude, because that's normally what I always wear, nude, but it'll stand out a little bit because it's kind of dark, so I'm just gonna overline, like, a lot with this. Okay. All right, guys, so this is what I think we're gonna end up with. <laughs> I don't think I wanna add anything else because it still looks like something that I would wear, but obviously it's like super dramatic and I would never do my makeup like this. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my husband to get home and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the camera as well. So let's go ahead and go. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks like in different lighting, but my eyebrows look really, really thick. I overlined my lips, as you guys saw, like a lot. And then this looks really crazy. I feel like on camera it doesn't look as bad, though. So I'm going to hide my camera. I think to get like a really good reaction, I have to hide it facing this way because my husband comes in through this door and he actually just texted me that he's on his way home so yeah i'm gonna hide the camera you guys and i hope that i get like an, a good angle i might have to like zoom it in though because i'm thinking of hiding the camera like either in this cabinet right there or like that one up there that's why i have it open i do also have like this area here where I, which i can probably try to figure out like how i can hide it behind the, this frame or something um, just so like the lens is sticking out. So I'm gonna hide the camera you guys and I'm just gonna wait for him to get here Oh, 
Shane? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. I made a chest. I'm hungry. What? Mom, I'm hungry. You're hungry too? Yes. Okay. Dark. Dark? Why? Mom, Mom, Probably because we're going swimming toys. Mommy. What? Mommy. What is it? What? What is it? You got like sunburn or something. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what? No, I like green. What? I look dark. Oh, thanks. You want to play? You want chicken? Can I spoil you? No, cheese. Mom, stop. Okay, okay, so he's going to the garage real quick, so I'm gonna move the camera, because I don't know if you guys can see his face, because he's so tall. Okay, let me fix it. Where'd he get it? It looks dark. It's pretty dark right here, like around. <laughs> <laughs> like you got a sunburn. I thought you were gonna say it was like really, really bad though. It looks like your normal makeup every day. <laughs> this is not how I do it every day. Like my lips. Big? Yeah. <laughs> like in travel. <laughs> and that's all you said is it looks <laughs> dark. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was kind of a fail because clearly he thinks this is how I do my makeup every day Which is not how I do it every day <laughs> I feel like it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look and when I was first doing it It did look really really bad like really bad, but you can tell right here that it's really dark But anyways, that is it for today's video you guys Thank you all so much for watching if you guys want to see my husband in more of my videos Then go ahead and comment that down below also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. And also, go ahead and turn on the post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any video that I post. That is it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Daddy.